Okay, good evening everybody. Thanks very much for um, pushing the play button. To my left, to my right, is my daughter Serica, who is sitting in with me and I've asked her to um, respond to a question that I have not yet, you know, presented to her. <clears throat> Here's the question. Uh-oh. My students this week uh, and for the last several weeks have been working on a photography book, a book that is a um, presentation of all the photographs that they've been taking for about mm, 10 weeks mm -hmm. or the best ones of it. Now, what do you suggest that they should probably do to every photograph before they put it into their book? Edit it on Photoshop. I didn't, did I preset that to you? Did I suggest? No. No? Did I? No, that was a hesitant no. No, no you didn't. <laughs> I was just thinking about what I would do. Good. In that situation. <laughs> and why do you think that's an important thing to do? Because it can make it look a lot better. But if you're taking a photo, surely you can just get the photo to look perfect when you take it. No. Why not? Because you don't know the exact result that you might want until you've worked on the photo more. So you can get a good result taking the photograph, but if you edit it further, you can change the lighting and the exposure and, I don't know, put more into it maybe if you want to make it actually look how you want it to. <clears throat> you have more control over it and then you can maybe even make it more interesting, have like more dynamic lighting, just make it more of an interesting photo. <laughs> hmm. Yes, well, thank you very much for that input. I firmly agree with you. It's very basic language, but that's okay. Very basic language, but that's okay. We don't mind. Make it good photo. Make it good. <laughs> Make it heaps better, mate. All right, well, thank you very much for that, Serica. No and problem, uh, Shane Nagel. I'll pay you your um, ELA fee. assistant money later. LA? ELA, that's what I am. Oh. It's uh, educational learning. No, no. Um, e-learning advisor. I'm an e-learning advisor. I think advisor. this counts as a freelance contract, so... It's free, is it? No, 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 freelance. So you pay me a Is your name Lance? He said he had bad dad jokes. They're really true. I've got some bad I'm jokes. going, this is just bad. Righto. Thanks very much. It's all right. Have a good life. So, look, that's about it, really. That's all. I'm going to shift the camera here. Good luck, everybody. Good luck, everybody. That's really all I wanted to say. Um... As you work towards the final week, you've got about a week from, yeah, seven days from now to complete your books. Some of you have been working really hard on your designs, your sketches, your inspirational grid-based design publications, sending those in, putting them up on discussion board for feedback. That's fantastic. I still haven't seen a lot of your work uh, from from your other, the, you other students, and I'd love to see that. Um, if I know anything, I know that design is a process and it takes time and you have to input uh, and then review and input some more and make changes and try something else and make changes. It's not something you can do really quickly overnight. Well, sorry, you can do it really quickly overnight and then submit it the next day, but it'll look like rubbish. So please don't do that. Um, this part of the assessment for the unit is worth 50%, the books themselves. So it's a significant amount of um, your mark. So please um, take the time, send me discussion board notices, um, put your work up, put your sketches up if you haven't already done so, um, and I'll respond and other people will respond. There's some really good regular contributors on discussion board and you know who you are. Thank you very much. Um, and then the other thing in general is to make sure that you consider Photoshop editing or Lightroom editing every one of your photographs that goes into the book. No photograph really should go un, unchecked, unfiltered, unedited through Photoshop. Um, even if it's to just slightly adjust the sharpening, um, slightly adjust the levels of the curves or the brightness of the contrast. Maybe there's um, uh, you know, a, a funny little element sticking in from the side of the original photograph and you just want to crop in a bit tighter to remove that. Um, maybe it's as my daughter was saying, you might want to increase the uh, lighting or adjust the exposure or color balance in such a way that you really bring emphasis to your subject matter more. Um, there's many things you can do, you can play around in Photoshop and it's a really great tool. It's uh, unbelievably, 
it's an unbelievable piece of software. The things you can do with it is are, are remarkable. So maybe take the time to, if you haven't already done so, to really do some tutorials. Flern is a great resource, P-H-L-E-A-R-N. There's a link to one of those tutorials in um, last week's discussion, discussion board thread, but I'll put another one up to that and a few others that are really worth checking out. Um, find someone who does tutorials that you know you like listening to because you're going to have to stop and repeat and play back what they've said a few times to get it into you, uh, to your head or to actually pause while you do it yourself in a photo that you're working on. Um, masks are so valuable in Photoshop. Learn how to use the mask, uh, mask tool. Uh, learn how to use layers to adjustment layers to. Um, focus on certain parts of your photograph. Um, I better stop talking. I think that's enough. 